So I got these sleeve and piston rod out of a Farmall Super A in 1951. It's the 113 cubic inch motor. It was locked up tight. Couldn't move anyway. Soaked the pistons and soaked them and rocked it and tried dragging it and soaked them again. I think the guy said he'd been putting Marble Mystery on the oil in these cylinders for over a year. And it still wouldn't move. And I told him we were going to have to take the, take the liners out. And pulled the head off first to look at the cylinders. They were caked up pretty good. Which is weird because it had been... The claim was that it had been sitting inside in a barn for at least the past 20 years. And nobody ever turned it over. So we went over there and messed with it and put more marble in there and tried rocking it and heating it up and put more marble in there and diesel fuel and all kinds of crap and nothing would budge. So. Went to pull it apart, pulled the head off, and cylinders were slammed full of rust, all of them. Uh, two in the middle were worse, number two and number three. Let me see if I can, you can see down in there. Okay, not really, but it's, it's pretty rusty in there. Anyway, regardless of that, uh, pulled the pan off last weekend and went to pull the rods out to get them loose. Rod bolts were all held in with the original, uh, they were using castle nuts with uh, cotter pins in them. And they were all extremely tight. Kind of, I thought it was a bit too tight for rod bolts, but... Anyway, the cotter pens, you could tell they were 1951 cotter pens because them things, they didn't like modern ones. These things were hard as rocks. And even pulling on them, usually a modern one, you pull on them like that with a pair of, pair of dikes to leverage them out, they'll rip apart. These things weren't ripping apart. It took, took forever to get the damn things out. Anyway, got this one. Once I took the rod bolts loose and could move the motor about an eighth of a turn and it actually popped that sleeve up out of the block and took the rest of the rod bolts out and number number two I took the rod bolts loose of that and gave it a tap with a hammer and a long punch up on the bottom of the piston and it actually moved the, the liner up too I haven't gotten the other two liners out yet. I tapped on them a little bit, but that, that they're going to be a little more obstinate than these. You can see this thing had just plain water in it at one time. When we took it apart, it had antifreeze in there. But it's going to need some cleaning up before I put it back together with the new sleeves. I'll run up. Probably reach down in the block with some Scotch Brite clean it up as best as I can all the all the rod bearings look great shit they look brand new but just ordering sleeves and they wanted to know the diameter of the lower block seal down here which on these is 3.3 .3. evidently there's two different ones there's a 3.430 and a 3.330. These are 330s. Now the the kit, this is exactly a 3 inch bore. I think all those 113s are 3 inch bore and a 4 inch stroke. Now what, what we're going back with is a 3 and 8 inch bore. Still be a 4 inch stroke but 3 and 8 inch bore because that's, that's what they have available. Which is better. Still using the flat top pistons like these, just a slightly bigger bore. It'll turn it into a 122 or 123, I think is what the calculation comes up to. I think 123 is what they call it. But I, I calculated it math-wise, and it's 
it's just barely. It's a 122.5 or 122.3 or something like that. But close enough, it's bigger. And, you know, that's a, that's a lot of money to be spending on this old tractor. Now, it's, it's in fairly good condition other than other than being locked up. It had no, no cool in the oil. Oil looked good. Rod bearings looked good. Main bearings looked good. It wasn't leaking oil out of everywhere. Uh, guys got a load of implements to go with it. I think they had, they had every implement that was available for this thing. It was this girl's father's tractor, and she wanted to keep it sentimental reasons. You know, but it'll be still looks good. I'll get some get some video of it later on when I go to put it back together and just just getting started on it and really didn't get any video footage of me taking apart because it was just me and him my son had to work that day I usually have my son do all this stuff and I gotta do the cylinder head too the uh, number one exhaust valve was stuck open about uh three sixteenths of an inch it needs to come out probably going to need a valve and at least uh, get the carbon out of the guide so maybe maybe just one valve maybe maybe more still have to pull them out of the head yet check them and see they need resurfaced and have to cut the seats in it we'll see i tell you what that cylinder head's heavy now we took it off there with no crane, and it, 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 modern stuff ain't that heavy. Things built to last. All right, I know it's a 330. Let me go get this thing ordered. And later on, we'll do a video of it going back together, I guess. Okay, if you, if you like my content, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. And uh, appreciate it. Take care.